most important factors in working with our dogs and having success in working with our dogs is our mindset. Mindset affects not only how we feel about things, but how our body responds. So it affects how our body responds to stress. If we have a threat mindset, so we are acting as if we're under threat all the time, that triggers our sympathetic nervous system. That's our fight or flight response. And that's appropriate if we're being chased by a bear or if somebody is threatening us. But if we're doing that all the time, then that is actually very bad for our systems because we've got stress hormones flooding our system all the time. The alternative is a challenge mindset. The mindset that says, yes, things might be tough, but what can I do to meet this challenge? And that approach triggers our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest. So that balances out those stress hormones. So what we're doing there is changing not just how we feel, because it will change how we feel about it, but it also changes how our body is reacting. And it's a much more healthy approach to take. And the interesting thing about a challenge mindset is that we can choose to have it. We can adopt that mindset. We can accept challenges that life throws at us and see them as challenges and find ways of dealing with them. So if we're thinking about our dogs, a threat mindset would see the reactivity that our dog is displaying as a problem, something that is um, threatening our uh, well-being, threatening our dog's well-being, something that is we need to protect ourselves from. A challenge mindset would see that same reactivity as being a challenge to address, something where we could say, well, what can we do to change this? What can we do to make this better? How can we meet this challenge in a way that is beneficial both to us and our dog? So it's very much a choice that we make. We have agency in this. And with the challenge mindset, we will then go and seek out the skills and the knowledge and the understanding that we need to be able to meet the challenge. Think about it like if you were going to accept the challenge to jump out of a plane with a parachute. If you were gonna do that, you wouldn't just do that with no training, with no practice, with nobody explaining to you how the thing works. You would probably go through a lot of training and then you would do some test things with people who could help you, who were more experienced before you went out on your own and did it. But you wouldn't see all that as a threat. That would be all part of a process of meeting the challenge, part of the process of accepting that challenge and meeting it. Same could be true of running a marathon. You don't just sign up and go and do it. You sign up and then you work through, what do I need to do to be fit enough to be able to run that marathon? So see your dog's reactivity in the same light as if you were taking on one of those big challenges. What can you do to make it easier for you? What can you do to learn? What can you do to make it easier for your dog to behave differently and take it on with that challenge mindset. It will make a huge difference.